Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and welcome to an advanced episode of Blockbuster Tips. In this video, I'll show you how to create transparent footage, which is also known as chroma keying or green screening. I'll be using Minecraft 1.12.2, Blockbuster 2.0, including its dependencies, Minima 3.5 and Adobe Premiere, as a video editor. I'm not 100% sure that the techniques presented in this video will work with your video editor, but give it a try. So, let's start with a simple method which can also be used in old version. In Blockbuster mod, there are so called chroma blocks which don't have any shading, thus allowing you to record characters on green screen. There are 8 different colors, which you can use depending on the lack of this dominant color on your foreground elements. Beside glowing chroma blocks, there are also dim chroma blocks, which don't emit any lighting, however, they are only available in 2.0. Before we'll dive into removing the background, here is a tip. When you record, you need to build a pretty high wall, and then record your character in the air. However, you can build a barrier platform. This will remove any traces of ambient occlusion, that is shading in the corner between the floor and the wall. Also make sure to disable bloom effects, if your shader adds an option to disable it, this will make it much easier for keying plugin to remove the color, and will yield a better result. Once you recorded the footage, with screen recording software or minima, with your characters on top of green screen, import the footage into your video editor, and key it, with Premiere, it's simply done by adding one of the keying effects, choosing the color, and playing around with the settings. This method has a couple of disadvantages, such as, it might not look the best due to keying plugin not accurately cutting out pixels, causing crisp edges, beside that, you're limited to colors you can use, that is if you're keying green, you can't have green on any of your characters, or any color that is close enough to green. However, this method is relatively easy to use, somewhat works with shaders, and doesn't occupy a lot of space. The second, and more complex way, is to directly record the footage inside of Minecraft with Alpha Channel, using new Blockbuster and Minima features which allow to record videos with transparency. So, you need the versions of the mod mentioned in the beginning of the video, and make sure that Minima is configured to work with FFmpeg. If you didn't yet, then watch the tutorial in the top right corner. I'll demonstrate this features without shaders enabled. So, first, we need to set up a keying surface, which erases pixels from the screen. This could be done with a couple of blockbuster features. You can use chroma sky feature, which completely replaces the sky box with given color. Go to dashboard, zero key, select blockbuster, enable chroma sky, configure the chroma sky color option, and make sure that it's completely black and alpha is dragged fully to the left. Or you can use keying option of image and custom model morphs. Let's place two default image morphs with keying option on the floor. That should do it, but just for demonstration, let's also place a fire truck with keying option enabled as well. Once we have everything set up, Let's place something in front of these keyed objects, like a dancing emoticons morph, to truly demonstrate the keying with Minima. Now, go to Minima's mod options, and enable use alpha option in capturing category. You might want also to enable screenshot alpha option. Before we record, let's take a screenshot of this scene. If we'll open the screenshot, there will be transparency. Now if we'll record the scene with Minima, by default, it would output a QuickTime video file, which will be quite heavy, because it's lossless. You can't preview it with bundled video player, however if you have VLC, you can use that, but it will lag a lot due to large amount of data. If we'll drag this video into the video editor, it will appear with transparency, just like on the screenshot. Alternatively, you can reconfigure the alpha encoder argument to export the video as a sequence of PNGs, if by any chance your video editing software doesn't support QuickTime with alpha. Once 
Once it recorded, select all the PNGs, move them to a folder somewhere within your project, and import it as a sequence of pictures. Then it should work exactly like the QuickTime video. The advantages of using in-game alpha, and recording it with minima, are, you don't have color limitations, it yields much better result with smooth edges, and it doesn't require a fancy video editor that has keying support. However, there are also disadvantages to this method. The file size of recorded footage is enormous, in comparison to the first method, most of shader packs, if not all, don't work with it, without editing the shader pack to support passing of alpha channel. That's pretty much it. Those techniques might be used for composting in Minecraft machinimus and roleplays. You can also create overlays, kind of like one of those subscribe and smash the like button things. And finally, memesters can use this technique to record footage with transparency for their Minecraft memes, especially ones with HUD. Anyways. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.